mother's me son, and we're supposed to be happy. So I'd like to celebrate my mother's life, give a brief history of uh, our life in America, her life from her birth until her passing. But I would like it to be more happy rather than sad, because we cannot cry this month. My mother was born April 1st, 1932, in the city of Samarkand. She was a uh, daughter of Sarah Bayuda Abayev. She was the granddaughter on one side of Yafoy Fuzail and Zabuluni Fuzail, very famous, wealthy, respected family. On the other side, she was the granddaughter of uh, Murodi Tursun Abayev, the Yushua Abayev. Her parents were Sarah a Yehuda Abaye. She was born in difficult time. It was a time of hunger, but she had a good life. Difficult, but good. Uh, my grandmother, Sarah, had to uh, take care of many families. Her uh, oldest brother, whom she loved very much, passed away at age 37, if I'm not mistaken. My uncle can correct me, and there are lots of uh, relatives here. And her oldest sister, my grandmother's oldest sister, also passed away. So my grandmother kind of inherited trying to raise these families besides her own kids. In order to do that, my grandmother, who was a photographer, at the same time used to uh, bring a uh, shochet. They used to slaughter animals. They used to sell off the meat. And with that, she, with those proceeds, she was helping to raise the kids of her uh, brother and sister and her own. She also used to do a lot of other work. She used to sew things and then she would go to a small village, sell that off, buy produce, bring it back, sell it. At the same time she used to bring, uh, I guess, potatoes, onions, whatever was necessary to feed the family. So my grandmother was an extremely, extremely hard worker. She truly was Eshet Chayev. So from here we see where my mother inherited her uh, abilities. Because my mother kind of uh, continued what my grandmother started. She was very, very proud and very close with her cousins, with her family. She always took care of them as much as she was able to. And she was able to. Even though she was left a widow at a very young age, at age 36, my father passed away when he was 39. We have never felt like we did not have a father because my mother did everything so we would not feel it. We had everything. Uh, in 1966, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back. She was married in 1953 to my father, Benjamin Chaim Uh They moved from the city of Samarkand, and they moved where my father lived, to the city of Merv or Mare, on the border of Afghanistan. He was a very, very outgoing and happy person, and I'm sure a lot of the people that are here that are going to be speakers will uh, mention that. So was my mother. 